What's up you guys? It's your boy this Chris back at it again with another daily vlog. It's time to go to work. And I just gotta say I'm happy I have a job. Uh, this job, it's okay. It's fairly like easy and simple. It's just not the job that I want to be doing. Hold on. that makes any sense. Uh, of course it makes sense. I don't know why it would make sense. But yeah. It's not the job that I want to make a career out of. Um, I know it's a good place for me to work here. And I know a lot of people move up easily from this job which is nice to know but that's just it I'm not trying to I'm not trying to stay here um, like I said in one of my previous vlogs I have a full-time job coming up sometime in the summer that's where I'm trying to be working at that's what I want to do but the reason why I want to work at that place is so I can work so much more with art that way art can blow up and art can do what it's got to do and you know once it does that I'll be able to well I don't want to give you guys the details um, just know that all our things have some big moves coming up some big moves um, and I just want to be able to be financially stable for when I make these moves. Camera's a little dirty. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, you know, work hard for that. I don't I just want to work so hard that I don't have to that I don't have to work anymore. I know what everyone's probably saying or people are probably telling you like yeah Chris it's not possible you're always gonna be working. Well there's that quote you know if you do what you love then you never work a day in your life. I'm just tired of working, you know. I just want all rare things to be so much bigger than what anyone thinks it is going to be, what I think it's going to be. I just want it to be, I don't know, I just want it to be, want it to be great. I mean, believe me, it's great now. You know what I'm saying? I have my loyal customers and I have people that support me because they, they you know, they fuck with the vision. They, they see my drive and all that. And then I also have the ones that are like my, my friends that have been my friends forever. And of course, you know, they want to support me or like my family members. Of course, they, they want to support me. I want it to, to blow up to where it's people that I don't even know like supporting me. Like people out of, out of the state, out of the country, you know. My main goal is to open up a, my own store. I want to open up an all rare things store. And, you know, work there full time. And work so hard that I don't have to work anymore. You know? There's just, there's levels to it. I, I know. Patience is a virtue. I know. Look at this guy. Gonna make me late to work. <laughs> and he just waved me over. <laughs> and then you got this jerk jumping out. Oh, shit. Either way, people gotta get it how they live. Just like me. 
just like I've been saying. Just like I keep saying, I'm gonna keep saying it so I don't gotta say it anymore. So, I mean, everything's gonna happen in time. So right now I'm working a job that I don't care for. But I am very happy that I do have it. I cannot complain at all. You know, I was, well, you know, I quit my job, so I just needed to get some sort of income. This is that, you know, our beggars can't be choosers. I wasn't begging, but I was tired or tired of, you know, not having any money to pay my bills or to go out with my friends to pay for art. That's what killed me the most, you know. Forget having my friends and all that. Like, that's not important to me. Like, going out with my friends, like, yeah, you know, it's it's fun and everything like that. But I got my friends where I don't even have to, like, spend a dime with, you know. And that's, that's what I like. But that doesn't mean I don't want to go out to the bar and get a drink with my friends or whatever. It just means that there's... You know, there's there's a time and place, and right now I'm not at that time where I can just be blowing my money and doing like, nah, I gotta get some work. And they understand that. They know what I'm working for, and it's not just me. I'm not. I'm working for a collective now. It's 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 all you know coming down based on. <coughs> excuse me. It's all coming down based on like me working for other people and those other people working for me. You know what I mean? And it's like, there's not going to be uh, a weak link. Not in this, not in this company. Sorry, I got really focused on driving right there. But yeah, not in this company. There is no weak links. The only weak links you have are the ones that you let become a part of your chain or you see them weakening and you don't do anything about that. And my guys know I'm not standing for that shit. Damn, man, I came so early. Well, I guess I could sit here and vlog with you guys a little more. <laughs> My guys know that I'm not gonna stand for that. I'm over here. Damn it. Back to what I was saying. My guys know that I'm not gonna stand for any weak links. And that's why I selected the people that I selected. They're all hand selected people that I put a part of my collective. And it's because I know none of them are weak links and but that doesn't mean that they can't weaken in time and everything like that but that's my job to help motivate them to get back back on their grind back on you know going pro and whatever they want to go pro in or you know get the show that they want to have you know and that's where i came into play i'm gonna try to get them there the best way that i possibly can and in return, they're just gonna, you know, do what they gotta do. They know what they gotta do. I can't explain it to you guys, because that's our business. But, you know, I got them. And I know they got me. So, I mean, with all that said and done, we're gonna make it. We are going to make it. Cannot stress that enough. I'm tired of working. They're tired of working. So I gave them a job so they can work some more. So we'll see what happens. Like right now, I'm over here at work. I'm over here at my job. I don't want to go to work. <laughs> uh, but I got to. Because for the time being, this is going to help, you know, art stay afloat, keep art 
above water. Best believe I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get art up and going. Uh, uh, well, yeah, up, not up and going, but up and running. Best believe that. And in case I ever get down on myself, that's why I got this. That's why I got you guys. That's why I have the vlog. Just to show the progress of all rare things. Like, I'm working a shitty job. Like, I wanted to make this video not sound crappy. So I turned off the AC. I'm baking in here. I am sweating in my car. But it's all for content. And it's like, I don't even, I'm not trying to get YouTube money. I'm not trying to get YouTube famous or anything like that. Like, if it happens, it happens, honestly. But all I want to do is show the progress of all rare things. Show the progress of my life. You know, I was working concrete and construction in the hot ass sun in Arizona. Then I will move to a part-time gig in the AC, which isn't as bad, but it's still, you know, it's whatever job. To the to the point where I'm like, hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, this is Chris. I'm back here at the All Red Thing shop. Show you what's up. Boom. There's Burke. Boom. There's there's Dan and Marty in the back. We got we got a whole little uh, skate plaza back there. Oh, let's let's see what uh let's see what Adian and uh, Brian are doing. Uh, down in the studio let's go to the studio or oh shoot there goes uh, Ian and there goes Joseph working in the cage working on some you know some ball work right there <sighs> all in time all in time but best believe when that shit happens it's gonna be all rare as fuck I'm so passionate about this, I'm cussing a lot. I just don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck anymore. I gave too many and hasn't been working for me. Now, I'm giving fucks to what needs to be fucked with. And that's only All Rare Things and my collective. Crazy. Everything that All Rare Things stands for and who it represents, it's much more than myself now. Maybe it always has been. But now I realize that. And that's what's going to get me out of Sarita. That's what's going to make me blow up. That's what's going to make all rare things remain all rare things. It's for you guys. It's for everybody. Let me take you there. Alright guys. One thing that I did definitely notice is when I talk about all our things or like what's going to come of all our things and why I'm doing what I'm doing for all our things that made my day go by so much faster at work I worked the same amount of hours as I did yesterday but yesterday I was just dying I just fucking didn't want to be there I was just like in a bitchy ass mood I just I I hate it. I just hate it. I didn't want to be at work. And today, like, that shit went by so fast just because I kept reminding my, like, I, I vlogged earlier saying about what all rare things means and everything like that. Like, it was just a huge morale booster for me. So now I just got to keep on reminding myself that when I'm at work, just remember what you're working for. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to move up in that company. I'm trying to move up my company you know what i mean speaking of which check out the new product got some new sweat shorts hey i'm cozy right now i'm chilling these are so comfortable got both front pockets and one in the back big pickup but hey, this is what it's for. This is what I'm dedicating my life to right here. Not the vlogs. The vlogs are just for you guys. Because, like, my views have went from the highest at 150. Which is nothing compared to a lot of people that I watch and everything like that. 
but now I'll be lucky if I get like 40 views on one of my vlogs, which is fine. I'm not complaining. I just appreciate those 40 people a lot much more just because I want them to see the progress of all rare things and the progress of my life and what is to come. And that's the whole reason why I'm doing vlogging. Like, I was tired of talking to myself and I seemed crazy, you know? Like, you see somebody just talking to themselves, you know, that's why I won wear my Bluetooth headset. That way it looks like I'm talking to somebody. If anything, I'm giving myself mental notes or I'm, you know, just thinking out loud and I don't seem like a crazy person. Um, and two, I have the vlog. So if I see, if like people see me and I'm talking about all their things, I'm talking about what's happening in life, I'm talking about why I went to the store, like now I got people that are listening. And even if it is, like I said, 40 people, 30, 20, 10, 5, one person that is listening, like I appreciate that, like that much more, just because yeah, I know you guys could be watching or doing other shit, but if you're that invested in my life and what I'm doing with all rare things and everything of that nature, I mean, and the car too, mind you, the rims are here. I still got to put these on, but I just got to wait for the tires and, you know, maybe not this week's paycheck, but maybe next week's paycheck, you know, or something to get the performance tires. Once I do that, these babies are going on. That's another vlog. So it's just my life's progress and the car's progress. You know, I hope to have a, a BRZ. That's the car that I really, really want. It's a car I've always wanted it. I wanted it since it was a Scion and it was just an FRS. But now that Scion, Scion is no more, I definitely want the Subaru because I've always liked the Imprezas and I don't know. I mean, I could get an Impreza if I wanted to, but I definitely want to get a BRZ. That's definitely going to be the car that I'm going to buy. And I just want you guys to be with me watching, supporting, while or when I do get it. And it's going to be huge. That's going to be huge. Like I said, I want the store, I want an all rare things store. You guys are going to be here when I do it. And if not, then, I mean, maybe someone else who just starts watching on later on down the road. But that's just it. I want the BRZ, a white one. If not, I'm going to get it white. Either way, white BRZ, all rare things store. And these aren't in any order at all. I mean, because if that's the case, I, I would put the store first. But... I'm constantly working for all rare things even when I'm not, you know, doing anything for all rare things. So the store, three, I have to keep my employees happy. Uh, you know, I hope the collective just stays and rides with me this entire, like the whole way through. And like I said, I want to have a little, that's not even just a store, like I want it to be like a fantasy factory. I want to have the skate park there for, for the guys. I want to have the studio there for the guys. I want to have the batting cages and all that shit. Like, I want that for my team. But, I mean, that's just it. Until, until then, check it out. I made some shorts. So, I'm just going to keep it all rare then. Oh, keep it all rare until then. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.